there's really three things we said we were going to do when we started our business. Number one, what we're going to do is we're going to build this cloud. Two, we're going to have a subscription model. So you're going to subscribe, not buy a license. So, you know, we're going to have a deeper relationship with you. And that became a recurring revenue stream, and that was a whole different type of business model for software. And three, we said, you know, we're going to put 1% of our equity, 1% of our profit, 1% of all of our employees' time into this 501c3 charity. It was very easy because we had no equity, we had no profit, we had no time, we had nobody. <laughs> but it turned in, now we have 45,000 employees, 130 billion market cap. The premise was that you wanted to build a company that was actually one that employees um, felt they were having a culture that they would be proud of. Is that essentially right? Really how it all started was, you know, I was uh, working in another software company for a decade from 80... This is Oracle? Oracle from 1980, starting in 1986. And in 1996, I walked into my boss's office, Larry Ellison. Everybody knows who he is. He's been a tremendous mentor to me. And uh, I said to him, I really don't feel good. I am having trouble getting up in the morning. I just am not enjoying my job. I don't really know what's going on. And he goes, you know what you need to do? You need to take a sabbatical. So I did. I went to Hawaii, and then I came back, and he's like, you still don't seem exactly right. This was after 90 days. Take another three months off. So I said, fine. So I went to India. <laughs> right. And um, I was touring India with a friend of mine who had just quit working for George Soros and was going to start his own venture capital company called Telesoft Partners, his name is Arjun Gupta. And we're in the Kerala region, right. in the backwaters of the Arabian Sea. And all of a sudden, we're invited into this ashram, which is like a, you know, it's, well, for, you know, it's like a synagogue, anyway. Right. Okay. okay. <laughs> so just help bring you that. along got it. and the story, helping you come along right, with I me. I got it. But anyway. That's where they lost tribes so we're in Israel. I know, I know, I'm helping you, okay. And so we're in the ashram. Now, in this part of India, all the gurus are women. And this woman is now lecturing us on spirituality and so forth. And all of a sudden, Arjun takes out his business plan. Goes, oh, well, let me tell you about what I'm going to do. Tell us off partners. And he starts giving her, and she's like, really interested. Uh, wireless is coming, and we're going to connect the world, and mobile devices are coming. And this is... You know, we're there, this is, 19, uh, this is uh, 1996. So then she is listening really clearly, and I'm like, I think she's going to invest. <laughs> okay? And then all of a sudden, she says this really powerful thing, which is she's saying it to him, but she's looking right at me in my eyes, and she goes, in your quest to change the world, don't forget to do something for other people. And that was a moment in time when I said, wow, when I start a company, I'm going to make sure that philanthropy and giving and generosity and these values are in the culture of the company from day one.